Hello, we're here at the historic Lucas Theater, uh, checking out the latest performance that SCAD is gonna be putting on here down in downtown Savannah. Candace and Mark are gonna be walking me through it. I've, I've been told that you all are the stars of this show. No, 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 I am more <laughs> than that. No, you, yeah. Candace is a star. I'm more the narrator early on, and Candace sings all the best songs in the show. So this this performance, uh, it's gonna be on Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Yes. Um, this is a kind of a, a history of the Lucas Theater uh, starting in 1930. Give us a little bit of a sense of what people who are gonna be coming to the performance will see. Absolutely, it's a, it's a historical musical celebration of the time. It's mm -hmm. like nine years after the, it opened, 1930, right when the depression starts, and it's about how we want our, our local folks to, to stay happy, to keep their hope up and just, you know, enjoy their day and forget about all their troubles. That's basically the premise of it. Mm -hmm. And so we have all these wonderful songs and dances and Candace just knocks out a couple of songs that will just give you chills. Yeah, was there any that you were really excited to get to perform? Yes, I actually love um, Can't Help Loving That Man. That's probably my favorite one of the mm -hmm. whole show. And um, the show is inspired by Savannah songs and we had a really good response from it. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of just, you know, piggybacking off of that, but I was also in that in Savannah songs. And so I'm excited to be a part of this one too. Yeah, that was such a, an, a cool performance, a lot of moving parts. I'm sure you're, you're kind of just here for this one, but I'm sure there's still a lot of- uh, Elements of it. Elements, trickery, yeah. you know, there's a lot Absolutely. of stuff going on. That yeah. was an interactive theater mm -hmm. piece from, you know, four different buildings yeah. that we had something happen to each one and people running in between. And here we have a lot of uh, audience, audience interaction with the uh, Savannah Sweethearts are still with us. Uh, and that is so much fun, a barbershop quartet. And, you yeah. know, and I talked to the audience, so it's, it's it's a lot of fun of that and we just were building on that and trying to celebrate and and feel what it was like to be here then at that time because look this theater is gorgeous yeah well mark you, you it seemed like you were kind of in the process of kind of conceiving this idea what what about savannah songs were you like yeah we need to be doing more of this stuff uh because it's 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 it, this is a, you know a, a city with history mm -hmm. and we love to connect with the community and connect with people who are visiting this beautiful city and share you know the scad talents that we have mm -hmm. and with the wonderful buildings that we have and uh, I, I just think we just need to make all those wonderful connections definitely and, and candace this is such a you know again a historic venue such a cool yeah. venue you know it's been around for so long i mean does that kind of factor in when you're thinking about performing that you get to be in this space that has so much history? Yes, it's so beautiful in here. And I think it kind of adds to the vibe of the show mm -hmm. because it's so historic. And then with all of our costumes and stuff like that, like it really comes together. I love it. And being in, in the Lucas just adds to it. Definitely. Well, there are still tickets available, savannahboxoffice.com. But I mean, Candace, you are with George Lovett. Those are the two uh, the people putting Headlines, on you. Yeah. Headliners, mm -hmm. what what are, what are the kind of things that people need to be looking forward to? What's the the showstopper that they should be coming in excited to see? Is there oh. anything that you can think of? <laughs> <laughs> what you think, Mark? Uh, the finale to me is just it is gorgeous. When everybody, you just get to see all of our SCAD students on stage, and it is just a rocking sound. And right before that, Candace sings, um, "That's my man," right? And yes. That's, and, um, the combination is just like, oh my gosh, and. Truthfully, when she sings, I just start crying. I, I, yes. <laughs> her voice is so unique and stunningly beautiful. Well, I, I remember they, they, they were like, we have, you know, American Idol winner <laughs> Candace Glover here. And I heard her sing for the first time, and it was just like, I don't think the, the, the microphones and stuff could, like, handle it. No, so, I know. You, know, know. <laughs> you, the, you need to, like, get, yeah. <laughs> get special mics or something. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> well, very cool. So, again, Friday, Saturday, 8 o'clock, Savannah Box Office. Um, if you saw Savannah Songs, then you already have your end, you know, a reason why you should check it out. But if you, if you didn't, if you missed that because it was just crazy popular, please come to, uh, to the Lucas Theater and check this out this weekend. Thank That's you guys for talking with us. Happy days are here again. That's it. <laughs>